Okay, today we're going to do something that's a little less focused, I guess. We're not going for an unlock. Uh, we're just going to try and get multitasker a win on Danger 2. That's our goal. Um, Ghost Axe is pretty good. Is that what we start with? Probably. We'll run it. We still haven't done an endless run either, but that's... I, there's less incentive to do that because I'm not really sure what that does. I don't really know or see the point of that yet. Uh, whereas this makes characters a different colour in the opening. Which is in insanely valuable. Um, plus 3 max HP. Plus 5% damage. We'll go health. We're on danger 2. We'll go health for now. Uh, none of these are great. Pistol's okay. Um, lemonade is underrated. And I love shotgun. There we go. Three weapons. Um, we kind of... I mean, we've kind of shot ourselves in the foot a bit here. Because shotgun is just going to clear a lot of enemies by itself. Uh, so ghost axe is going to struggle getting stacks. But I mean, we'll take it. Already got 1% from Ghost Stacks, so that's something. Ooh, plus 3 HP regen. You love to see it. Wrench. Ghost Flint is kind of interesting. It's so bad, though. It's so hard to stack. 1% attack speed. No, we won't do that. We'll do one reroll. Shuriken's pretty nice. Ooh, Cyber Ball is really nice. Cyberball is insane. In case you weren't aware. One of the best things in the game, basically. And I focus luck as a stat a lot, usually, so it's even better on me. Luck's so good, dude. More, you get more items from it, more consumables. You get higher rarity things. It's so good. I'll take 5% damage. Landmine's okay. I really like Alien Worm. You really go Ghost Flint. It never ends up doing anything when I take it. That's the only thing. We're going to prioritize more weapons soon. Because that's the thing that always I always kind of fall apart on. Is usually I don't prioritize weapons enough. I prioritize stuff like... Like utility, like coupons. Stuff that's healthy for the run, but doesn't help us survive long enough for it to be worth it. That was insanely bad dodging. My brain was fully focused on talking there instead of not dying. There we go. 90 materials, that's pretty good. 6 max health. Ooh. Plus 2 range damage. I just love guns, dude. I love taking guns. Upgrade Ghost Axe? Yeah, I don't really want to upgrade Pistol, I'm not worried about that. Ghost Axe we're going to upgrade whenever we can. Just so it stacks quicker and more. Um, because that's going to offset the downside of this character. Which is... Uh, minus 5% damage for every weapon you own. Which, since we can have up to 12 weapons, that's, what, 60% damage down, potentially? Oh, but you start with 20, so it's four, minus 40% damage, basically. As a standard 12-weapon multitasker. So, yeah. Ghost stacks insane mode. I'll take 3% dodge. I'll take a shotgun to upgrade our current one. I kind of want to keep two shotguns though instead. We'll run that for now. Two life steal. We don't have any harvesting though. Another shotgun. You know what? Now we can have two blue shotguns. I don't like jousting lance. Just the idea of it. It doesn't really have. Like I guess it works well with like knight or um, the speedster, whatever he's called. Yeah, we won't worry about locking 30% pickup range. 
We'll think about it, but we're not we're not loving it. How much damage does Cyberball do? One. Okay, we need the Lux Staff. We haven't really had the option to take any yet, I don't think. Maybe like one plus five for luck uh, during one of our levels, but I don't even remember that much, so. Nice item. We haven't found Lumberjack shirt yet, which isn't like a necessary item, but it does help a little bit. Yeah, we need more weapons. This is getting a bit crazy right now. Can we break these trees, please? Thank you. Yeah. One more weapon could be doing us a lot of good. Sure, 6% dodge. I don't want that weapon to be a pistol, though. I'll take Lumberjack shirt. Less enemies, less damage. Elemental damage. I'm not worried about that. Plus one range damage I'll take every time, though. And I'm not worried about taking a common ghost axe. I will take another shotgun. Yep. I won't take 20 range. It's kind of a waste, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, we'll run that. Ghost Scepter could have been okay. I don't know. We're just kind of vibing. Um, we need more weapons. Like, that. that is absolutely what we need to prioritize. Because if you look at it... Like, look how many enemies... It's really simple, right? Look how many enemies are coming towards us. More weapons means there's going to be less. That's it. That's the ultimate survival tactic in this game. Kill everything before it can even look at you wrong. Oh. Loot bug? Loot bug? No. I tried. It spawned a bit too late for me to actually try and focus it. Six health. Six melee damage? I just don't care. I guess we'll take it, but it's really just not a great find. It's okay. Oh, we'll take all of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, Cyber Ball. There's two damage now. Which is better. Not by much. I mean, it's a it's a 100% damage increase on it, so... I guess that is a lot, but... We still need more. 10 luck in general, though, is pretty nice. I don't know how exactly, like... I don't know the, um... Like, the equation in the game code of how luck affects everything. But I know it's damn good. It is damn good. Yeah, I mean, we still... We still just want another weapon here. Just more damage. Rocket launcher would be really cool. Or nuclear launcher. Anything AoE. The Shredder would be incredible. Free range damage. Shady Potion. Laser Gun doesn't fit what we're looking for. And we can't afford any of that. Little Frog. Is that a save? A lock? I think that is a lock. We'll take a lock on Little Frog. What did we just pick up? Oh, Shady Potion. Okay. So that means Cyberball does 7 damage now, which is getting somewhere. I think some of these weaker enemies have like 8 to 10 health. Something like that, so... It's definitely getting there. At the very least, it's going to make it so if our shotguns hit them, it's more likely to one-shot with one pallet. So that's something. Oh, this is wave 9. Damn. We could have picked up another weapon now. We get. I mean, getting more luck is fine, because this is the swarm wave. So when we kill an enemy, something takes damage. Works really well with a lot of enemies on screen. Oh, sorry, it's twenty-five percent chance to do damage when you kill an enemy. Gotta dash in and get the money here. 
We didn't quite get 500, but we'll take it. Yeah, no, we won't take 10% crit. Lifesteal makes more sense. Alien Ice is good. It's not always incredible, but I don't know. I just like Alien Eyes, man. It's pretty nice. What do we need? We need a bit of armor. We are doing some decent more damage here, which I like. Doing okay here. I actually think at this point, I mean, we still need an AOE weapon. We need a, a rocket launcher, a nuclear launcher, or a shredder. God, I lost my mouse there. So I can manually aim at the loot bug. Yeah, see, look at this. We're just getting overwhelmed a little bit. We're struggling ever so slightly, daily and nightly. Man, come on. Sure, I'll take more tree spawn, why not? I'll take 9% dodge too. Oh, 3% lifesteal. That's pretty nice. Enemies have a 20% chance to explode for 16 damage when they die. Minus 12 harvesting though. Piggy bank is a definite take, so is a wandering bot. 38, that takes us to, yeah, 130, which would mean we don't have enough for this. I mean, do we take that? Minus 12 harvesting. It, it does help us clear waves. I think we do take it. Whoa. There's a cheeky elite here. Ow. Oh, okay, we're struggling. We actually might die to this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? This is survivable, but my god, it is a bit rough. Jesus. Yo oh my god, how do we dodge all that, my man? Jesus Christ. Uh, we're at 12 minutes, we'll do another run. God, that sucked though, holy hell. Maybe we just do a danger one run. I don't want to do multitask it again. Should we do mutant? Item price, oh, I don't know. Ghost. We'll do danger, danger one ghost. Dodges capped at ninety percent. We can do it. We can do a danger two with ghost. If that elite shows up, none of his attacks are going to hit us. That's the thing. Do we just go six ghost scepters? That's kind of what I want to do. Make us absolutely unkillable. Do we start with any dodge? 30% on this guy. Go range damage and we'll just stack ghost scepters, man. There we go, there's another one. Baby Gecko and Coffee are both pretty good, so we'll take both. Three ghost scepters though, look at that. This is going to be beautiful, man. We're going to have 90% dodge and 400 health. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to be funny at the very least. I don't know how effective it's going to be as a strategy. Is our first level. Oh, tree. Struggling with money a bit right now. We'll take five harvesting just to start us off. Ghost Scepter. Um, and then we'll take coffee. Go stacks, I'm not interested, mate, sorry. We're here just to get health. Nothing else. Ah, 
<sighs> I'm just kind of chilling out. I'm going to I'm going to cinema today to see the new Puss in Boots movie. Finally, like two years after everyone else has already seen it. Actually, can't wait though. It's going to be so goddamn good. We'll see. I'll take one armor. Why did we take one armor? <laughs> That's going to do absolutely nothing, man. That's going to do literally nothing for us. Whatever. All we have to do is get 103 armor and then we'll stop taking extra damage. It'll be fine. There's no issue with that. The, the fact that every enemy is gonna die to a ghost scepter is pretty good because that's gonna that's gonna very quickly turn into like a minimum of six max health per wave probably i hope that's the plan anyway sure eight harvesting maybe range would have made more sense actually cute monkey's pretty good reroll one time bag is awesome that's six Ghost Scepters achieved. So now we just have to find even more to level them up. I think range would have been a really good idea, actually. Range and attack speeds. Because we've already gotten some stuff in the way of um, damage. We picked up plus two range damage from levels early. So yeah, attack speed and range. I think that's what we're looking for. There we go. Big dodge. Just run for him to get money. Pray for the dodges. Lifesteal, why not? None of that is useful. Lifesteal's okay. Another ghost scepter? 25 times steal. No, I'm not worried about that too much. Ooh, wisdom this early is very interesting. And another ghost scepter. And now we save for Wisdom. Wisdom is so good. Like, especially for wave 20. It's so good. Wisdom is insane, actually. So, the next shop is going to be us buying Wisdom. And then, hopefully some range and attack speeds. We'll see what happens. We really will. Nothing too much to talk about right now, because we're kind of just, you know, we're staying afloat. We're getting some health. The more our max health goes up, the better. Because um, the, the minus 100 armor you start with really... It hurts a lot. Do we focus dodge? We're already at 60% is the thing with that. I'll take luck over dodge for now. Armor, obviously, we're not going to take again. That was so dumb to take it the first time. We don't want less enemies. That's the thing. Five max health. I don't think we care about that. I think we care about damage. Oh, scared sausage is not bad, actually. We'll take that. I love scared sausage. It's not even always that strong, depending on how I build, but just the idea of it is fun. The fact that you can just set things on fire. I mean, on bosses, it's got to do like a decent amount, right? Bosses and elites? I don't know. Yeah, we need range. Because sometimes the way I move, like if I'm chasing a tree spawn or something, we're out of range of stuff for so long, and then a whole group of it comes at once. And because we can't attack it quick enough, it causes like a lot of issues. Because we do six shots and then there's a massive gap. I love that. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take the 12% damage too. Another scared sausage. None of that is super good. 4% dodge. We'll take it. 8 max HP. No. 
Block, yes. 7% damage? It reduced our max health. Otherwise, I'd think about it. That first. Then Cute Monkey. Honestly, we'll skip Lumberjack yet. But Cute Monkey, you can't. You can't skip. It's so good. Yeah, the fact that big boys are getting absolutely annihilated on site is pretty good. Ah. Beautiful. Look at him fall, dude. Look at him absolutely get cleaved, man. Uh, yeah, this is definitely my last run. After this, I'm going to do some Slayer on RuneScape, I think. Why not? Get it done. Got a hundred black demons to kill at the moment. Only issue is I've got a prayer flick for the for every attack if I can. Not relevant, not relevant. Um We'll take landmines. We I don't know if we should have taken landmines, but we'll take landmines. We can't avoid nine dodge. And then this is beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Four percent dodge again, free reroll. Are we gonna buy alien magic? Minus eight luck. I don't like that. I don't like that. We need more ghost scepters. Ah, it's wave nine. Big max health gains on this wave, hopefully. If we had a bit more attack speed, that would be nice. A bit more damage too, so we could one shot the um, the bacon chargers, whatever they're called. I think they're just called charges, actually. Landmine helping us out a bit there. Yeah, see, waves like this is really where attack speed would be absolutely insane. Or piercing. Obviously, we're looking for piercing at some point. That would be an incredible find, to be honest. Always is with range builds, but, you know... The fact that melee automatically pierces, basically, is a huge upside for it. That's incredible. We have to take that. 10 luck. 6% dodge, and now we're at 81, which is very close to our cap. So we're looking a lot better. Oh, we like everything. Not pumpkin. Pumpkin's the only thing we don't want off of this list. Oh, and we can buy all three of the ones we want. Beautiful. Two range damage, 10% attack speed, two armor, 6% dodge, eight max health. Okay, we still take 87% more damage. So the armor hasn't done anything for us. Listen, if we can get that down to 86% at some point, then we've won. That's our goal. Not really, but I mean, I guess it could be helpful, kind of, maybe, if we're really lucky. Because the odds of that making the difference are basically zero. Big landmine. Huge landmine play. You don't see that in the lower, lower ranks. That's why Black Axe and it's a, the crowd favourite for winning this tournament. Basically just walk around now. 81% of damage is going to do nothing at this point. We're looking good. 4 out of 5 attacks do absolutely nothing. I'll take that. 9% dodge. That gets us up to the cap. But 15% attack speed is nice. Big. Big Ghost Scepter finds. And more max health. Oh, every time. Garden's okay. We'll lock Garden. We'll probably take that next shot. Yeah, our range is a bit lacking. 
Like, it's, it's very noticeably short at this point. Stuff like Poisonous Tonic, I think, has reduced it. I don't know every stat off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure Poisonous Tonic reduced his range. Oh, we could get, um... What's that, uh... What's that new item? There's a new item. When you're full on health and you pick up a consumable, you get one max health. We could get that. I mean, that's not like a game changer outside of Endless, maybe, but... It's something. Yeah, piercing or attack speed or range. All of those are definitely, like absolutely insane statistics that we want. Take 15 luck. Okay, we probably want all of this. You and you first, and then you. We can't afford alien tongue, so we won't hold on to it. And then go scepter to level up again. That's one red. Scat stats gain zeros. Interesting. Ah, hello. Oh, you're one of those, are you? I'm guessing those give us stats, though, so I'm fine with that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's a lot of enemies. We could be in trouble here. The fact that nothing can hit us, though, is kind of changing that. We'll see. Because if we do get hit, our healing is not that insane. It's just that it's so hard to hit us in the first place. Ow. Obviously, the more we can still dodge anyway, the better. Because that means that we don't have to rely on the percent chance. We save our percent chances when it actually matters. We need more damage after that. Holy hell. 12% damage. I don't want you. I do want that. Reroll. I'll take another free reroll. Damage life seal. Eh. Another ghost scepter. Hold that. I mean, we do more damage now. Everything's base blue. Every weapon is baseline blue tip rarity. Blue tier. Which does increase our damage by a lot, really. And is there still a weapon that has given us zero stats? Yeah, there is. Interesting. We're at 50 off of the red one, though. And this is beautiful. 129 health, and it just goes up and up and up at this point. I'm hoping that really climbs in the second half of these waves. You know, 10 to 20. Because 1 to 10, you don't do that much damage. There's less enemies. You know, you can't... You shoot slower. Just everything. What's our dodge at? Because we should max that out as well. Whenever we can. I think we're like 75% right now. 79%. We'll take coupon. We'll definitely take alien baby and we'll definitely take free range damage. What time is it? Half 7 a.m. Cool. Let's get a bunch of purples. Scar, obviously. I don't want to reduce our attack speed. No, none of that. Guarded's in trade. Ooh, peacock. That's a new item. Plus 25% XP gain, plus 100% XP gain during the next wave, but plus 50% enemy damage. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. The earlier we take that, the less dangerous it is, I think. And if we go Peaceful B, we won't go Garden again, because we haven't gotten much use out of it, to be honest. Oh yeah, you can see that double XP on the bar in the top left. You can really feel it. And I mean, we we really don't get hit that often. Especially when we're playing it safer. Let's 
could be big in the levels department for us. Bunch of luck, I hope. Bit of range, maybe? We'll see. A purple range. Purple or red range would be 45 or 60 range. That would just fix our range problems for the rest of the rest of the run. Although it's definitely transitioning into needing attack speed more and more. I'm just watching our health bar. Yeah, we got hit for like a 40 there. Very interesting. 4 HP regen? I mean, we don't have any at the moment, so that'd be nice. Crit. Not enough of Peacock, man. Sure, sure. No. No. Yes. This is just silly, man. And we don't care about any of that. I'm up a peacock wave. Our XP gain should be actually kind of crazy right now. I mean, it is. Look at it. The speed it goes up because we got we got what we got permanent 50% from last peacock and from the belt, and then we got 100% on top of that. I don't know how that all scales together. I'm guessing it's additive. Otherwise that would be broken, but that's still a lot. We are struggling to kill enemies right now though, which isn't great. We need some freaking more damage. Where's my mouse gun? There it is. I just focused fire on the big group there to see what it would do. Turns out not a lot. So damage is definitely something we're worried about right now. Level 19. We won't take that. It's just about worth it instead to get the money in, instead from that. One more free reroll. I mean, Incendiary Turret would be okay. Another purple, that's beautiful. 12% damage, but it's minus range. Attack speed is so good. 12% damage. We'll take it. And then we'll have coffee next. Coffee, and we'll be leveling to a red next uh, wave as well. So that'll be great. About to hit 200 health this wave. Which is also really cool, to be honest. 90% dodge of 200 health. So what? Our effective health should be 10 times that, essentially. So we have 2,000 effective health. But then we take almost double damage. So our effective health is closer to like 1,100. Which is still insane. Yeah, we're struggling. Piercing would be insane. Baby with a beard would be okay, but piercing would be insane. Look at that huge freaking group of enemies. Yeah, more damage. Wait, the game just crashed, didn't it? Oh my god, the game just freaking crashed. I'm so done. I'm so over it. Okay, let's boot it up. It should have saved one wave back. Yeah, coffee, yeah. Let's see, we had this before and it kept crashing, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll fix the game after. I'll, um, yeah. I'll freaking reinstall, I'll verify, whatever. Important thing is we didn't die, so we're not going to die again this time. And I mean, potentially we could get more health than we ended up getting before. I'm not sure how likely that is. We could get less health also, but let's be optimistic here. Give me that fruit. Nothing's really... okay. No way we die on the redo. Come on, game. Keep us lucky. Don't let us die. Keep us lucky. No way we die on the redo. 
I was going to say it. <laughs> um, 8 harvesting and minus 1 melee damage. We don't use melee damage, so it doesn't matter. 3% dodge, yep, I'll take that. Ghost Scepter upgrades. Coffee. Reroll. Can we get some more Ghost Scepters? If we could get 6 reds, that would be awesome. Melee damage range harvesting, yeah, we don't care. Silver Bullet, plus 25% damage against bosses and elites. We're taking that. We're taking that. No arguments. We need plus... I mean, yeah. Dodge is 86. I'm not going to buy the B for that last 4%. I don't think it's worth it right now. Yeah. I mean, our damage is pretty fine. Nothing super wrong with it until we get swarmed. That's why I want piercing. Having every shot, giving every shot the the potential to do double damage is really good. Even though it also comes with a minus 10% damage, but that's not important. Yeah, I mean, look at this. We just get run down by a big old group of red boys. I don't know why our curse is like flickering and lagging when I move it. A little concerning. But we'll ignore that. I can't remember if I just said we'll ignore it twice or not. I'm gonna hope I didn't, but the fact that I brought it up anyway it doesn't help my case. Perfect. Yep. Stats gain 6. Okay, that's not accurate. I don't know why you're copying. I'm so confused. <laughs> Wait, another bandana we could get to. That's kind of interesting. Wave 18. We're at minus 102, so we're still 87% more damage taken. What do we even buy? Right, we bought piercing, and we bought um, what the hell else did we buy? I've already forgotten. Oh yeah, the silver bullet. We bought piercing, we bought the silver bullet, and we also got plus two range damage and plus twenty-five range. That's what we got since last wave. We're struggling a bit here. I'm not going to pretend we're not. Oh my god, man. We might actually die. Th these waves are getting a little bit out of control. We need more healing. Oh, come on. Let me make it to the next shot, please. Please, game. <sighs> need some healing. We don't take that. <laughs> what do we do here? We combine and then take this. Because then we have four red. Oh, Jesus. No, we can't take that. Our whole build is around getting more max health. None of that. I mean, mushroom's kind of tempting. We need lifesteal. Lifesteal is the most important stat right now. That's also very tempting. Actually, I won't worry about it. We need lifesteal though. Because it pierces through, so every shot... What, we're essentially hitting... Uh, two, four... Wait, hang on. <laughs> 4 times 6 is freaking 24. So every second we're hitting up to 24 times. If we can just increase the chance to lifesteal that. Up to 24 times a second we're hitting enemies, really. More like up to 26 or 28, but up to 24 is a safe, safe value. Where did that loot bug go? Is it even alive? Oh wait, there it is. It's running around red boosted. 
it disappeared. I didn't know they could do that. Or it either died and didn't drop anything, which I didn't know they could do, or it just disappeared, which I also didn't know they could do. I think it disappeared. Three items. No. Yes. Yes. Wait, that's actually huge. 25% damage for basically no downside. We take 1% more damage. Oh no, guys. Truly, we're going to perish. Yes, lifesteal. That's absolutely what we wanted. None of that is useful. Blood donation is useless at this point. Your cool. Reroll. More trees. This is final wave. More trees is the only thing we can get there that actually does anything for us. I think we're going to get the danger to win here. It's looking pretty good. We're not going to unlock the new character, but we are going to have a new colour on Ghost. Purple, which is really nice. I think it's purple, right? Or is it blue? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, get us some more health. Dodge everything and get us more, more health. I mean, we can kill the boss here easily, look at this thing. AFK moment. Get styled on, idiot. Beautiful. Where's the ghost? I'm lost. Where's the ghost? Oh wait, we have him selected. He's right here. Look at that. Purple ghost. Beautiful. What an unlock. Anyway, I'll see you guys whenever I see you. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully we can make some characters different colours again next episode. Goodbye.